All right, as all of you know, the Las Vegas Valley is ground zero for a grasshopper invasion unlike any we've seen in years. Now, we think it's the result of wetter than normal winter and spring, but the wet weather may only be part of the story. Yeah, new tonight, I sat down with a local doctor who believes a powerful chemical is partly to blame for making these grasshoppers so happy and eager to multiply. This is one of the happiest places on earth, you know, and and it's one of the most social places on earth. And the reason why people have such a good time when they come to Vegas is because I think of a serotonin boost. Serotonin, AKA the happy chemical is a neurotransmitter naturally produced by people. A Valley doctor says it's capable of regulating mood, social behavior, appetite, sleep and sexual desire in humans and apparently in grasshoppers too. Grasshoppers may have a similar response to humans when it comes to the happy hormone. Dr. Dahlia points to a 2009 study from Oxford and Cambridge universities that found serotonin levels were three times higher in grasshoppers who were swarming as opposed to solitary, less sociable ones. That serotonin makes a solitary grasshopper become more gregarious and more social. It really mimics and parallels what humans do. The same study found grasshoppers get stimulation through their hind legs, especially when crawling over each other during a grasshopper gathering. There's a snowball effect where the closer the grasshoppers are together, the higher the serotonin becomes. So what ends up happening is one feeds on another feeds on another, which is why we saw it happen so exponentially. So when you see grasshoppers swarming the Las Vegas Strip, Dr. Dahlia says they're probably high on serotonin and seeking many of the same things we are. And we are also in grasshopper mating season. So just as a reminder, the grasshoppers are harmless to us and the state entomologist only expects them to be here for a couple more weeks at the most.